Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some board games that we have added to our family board game collection in the last few months. Welcome back, if you're new to my channel, my name is Deanna and I'm a homeschooling mom of four with one on the way. Here on my channel, I like to talk about my faith in Christ, homeschooling, homemaking. If that is interesting to you, I would love for you to subscribe to see my future videos. But today I'm gonna to talk about some board games that we have added to our collection over Christmas and birthdays that we've had recently. And so maybe they'll give you some ideas for games that you would enjoy playing with your family as well. So the first game that I wanted to mention is the game The Crew. If you are into gaming, then you have definitely already heard about this game. This is a card trick-taking type game where you're working cooperatively as a group to accomplish various missions. And so you have a little booklet, and then you're reading out different scenarios, and every scenario has a goal that you're trying to meet. And so I think there's 50 different missions throughout this game that you're trying to um, work your way through. And we, we enjoyed playing this game over Christmas time. We played with my parents, and then we also played later with my husband's dad. This game plays with three to five players, and I like it because each mission can be accomplished usually um, within 10 to 15 minutes. The missions, each mission itself is fairly short, and so you can determine if you wanna play, you know, five missions or two missions. And um, so I like the flexibility in that, that you don't have to be committed to playing for X amount of time. You can be more flexible with um, how many missions you want to play each sitting. The age recommendation for this game is ages 10 and older. So if you have tweens or teens, then perhaps you and your husband and your teen could play this game and have fun playing it together. Okay, the next game that I wanna share is not technically a game, but hear me out. This is um, a puzzle, but it's an escape room puzzle. And so you are putting together this puzzle and on the puzzle, not shown on the box, are some clues and some secret things that you're uncovering as you're putting the puzzle together. And so for this particular escape room puzzle, we are in a submarine and the submarine has malfunctioned and we need to find a way to get back to the surface. And, and so anyways, we're putting together this puzzle. We have not completed it yet. It's over here, you can't see, it's off camera. My husband and I have been slowly making our way through putting this puzzle together. And then I'm assuming once it's all put together that we can put together some of the clues and hopefully find a way to rescue ourselves from this sunken submarine. And so um, this is a great thing to do together as a couple, especially we like putting the kids to bed. We are able to slide over a little folding table and just sit together and work on a puzzle at night. And it's a nice way to um, do something quiet and relaxing, but it also provides time for a good conversation. And so this has been something that we have enjoyed and it's really fun that there's a um, kind of a mystery aspect to it as well. And so um, this is the second game that we have added to our collection recently. The next game is one that I bought for my husband for Christmas, and this is the game Patchwork. Now this particular version of the game is the Christmas version of Patchwork. Patchwork has gotten quite popular, and I'm not sure if there's two or three versions of this game, but anyways, I'll link it in the description box if you wanna check out which versions of this game are available. I have seen one of the versions available at Target. So anyways, this is a newer version of the game that's kind of Christmassy themed, and so in this game, you are creating a patchwork quilt and you have a board and then you're playing with these little Tetris looking pieces and trying to arrange them on your board to maximize the space that you're able to cover and leave the fewest amount of empty spaces at the end of the game. So this is a really fun, quick play game. It's a specifically designed for two players. And so this has been one that my husband and I, again, have enjoyed playing together as kind of a at-home date game, but it's also been easy for one of my older kids to play this with my husband too while I'm making dinner or something. So this is definitely a fun game, something that doesn't require a lot of mental energy to play at night. So definitely one that I would recommend that you check out if you're looking for a fun like date night game with your husband. All right, another sort of date night game that I got for my husband for Christmas was this Star Wars Unlock game. I have mentioned in the past 
Um, we own another unlock game that we have already finished all three of the challenges in it. And so I thought, well, we enjoyed that one. Let's try out this Star Wars one. He likes Star Wars. My kids like Star Wars. So I was like, well, it looks like it'll be fun. So <laughs> last night we played the first challenge in this series. There's three different challenges here. And this this one is a, quite a bit easier than the other unlock game that we have. And so we were able to complete the mission within the one hour time frame. With the other one that we have, it took us quite a bit longer to solve the mystery. But these are really fun escape room type games where you're using a deck of cards to kind of propel the story forward. And it also corresponds with an app that you download either to your phone or to an iPad. The app really makes it feel more immersive and it's neat how they kind of incorporated the app into the game um, to make it feel more exciting. So this has been one that we have enjoyed already and we still have two more of the games to play together. So another great game you could play as a group or you could play um, as kind of a date night. So definitely check out this Star Wars version of Unlock. All right, the next game that we added to our collection is one that my son actually just got for his birthday, and that is Marvel United. So Marvel United is also kind of a card-driven game in which you are each one of the Marvel superheroes, and you're trying to work together cooperatively to defeat one of the Marvel villains. And so you are playing cards, and you know each of you has a certain superpower, and you're trying to rescue civilians and get rid of the bad guys, and it's a really fun game. This has been something that's not too heavy. It's designed for ages eight and older, and you can play this game solo, or you can play with up to four players. And so this has been a really fun game. My son has really enjoyed this. If you have kids that are into um, superheroes and good guys and bad guys and rescuing people, then I think that your kids would really enjoy this game. And also if you enjoy um, kind of the Marvel characters and movies and things like that, this is definitely one that you should definitely check out is Marvel United. And the last game that I want to share with you guys today is the game called Trekking the National Parks. And this is one that my dad actually gave to us and we really enjoyed playing it with him while he was here and looking forward to playing it more in the future. And in this game, you are traveling across the United States to visit different national parks. And so I think this game, this game reminds me a lot of Ticket to Ride and that you are collecting cards so that you can move across the board and then you have to play certain cards in order to earn certain park cards and things like that. So if you enjoy Ticket to Ride, then you'll probably enjoy this game as well. I really enjoy all the different facts that are listed on each of the national park cards. It makes it really interesting and also a little bit educational. We're gonna be diving into early American history next year, and so I can see us playing this game a lot more in the next couple years during homeschooling because we will be focusing a little bit more on American history. So. That is the last game that I want to share with you today was Trekking the National Parks. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the games that we've added to our game collection recently. I will have all of them listed in the description box below if you want to check them out for your own family. If you have any games that you have added to your family's collection recently, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.